directly on your scalp. Put a shower cap on, let that sit for like 30 minutes. That's gonna be so moisturizing. So what's going on? Welcome to another Curly Commission video. I'm so glad you are here. Today, we are talking about length, retention, and scalp hair, scalp hair, scalp care strategies for high porosity hair. Last week, we talked all about low porosity, but today, we're talking about the high porosity girlies today, okay? You guys know I waste no time. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so when it comes to high porosity hair, for those who may not know, this is where you have cuticles that are pretty much very open. In some cases, they can have gaps in the cuticle. There could be holes in the cuticle as well. And because of that, the water will get in really quick, but it'll come out real quick too. And how can you tell if you have high porosity hair? In most cases, your hair dries very fast. Like if you're air drying your hair, your hair will be completely dry, probably within two hours, maybe five hours, but definitely the next morning, ain't no sign of moisture in your hair if you're air drying. That's a telltale sign of high porosity hair. So here's my recommendation for you. We're just gonna go, we're just gonna jump straight into it, okay? Number one, LCO, in my opinion, will probably be your best bet. LOC is cool, but it's something about sealing with that O or even L LCG grease, okay, at the end is really going to help to lock in that moisture. So start off with the liquid. This can be water, this can be a liquid leave-in conditioner, this can be aloe vera juice. That C, let that be a buttery, very creamy moisturizing cream. And then O can be olive oil or avocado oil, more of a heavier oil, or if you wanna, you know, try a G, do a hair grease, okay? Blue Magic or Softy hair grease to help to really lock in that moisture. That's going to be ideal. If you have high porosity hair, you never, ever, ever wanna skip out on sealing in that moisture. That's going to be key for length retention. Now, if you do have high porosity hair, I have a little test for you. And I typically only share this test with my clients when I do my hair for coaching calls. But tonight, if you have high porosity hair, I want you to do a test. On your right side of your hair, do your, re your, your, your regular liquid cream oil. But on this side, I want you to do liquid cream grease, hair grease. Apply the product in those layers in your hair. I want you to twist up your hair, and then I want you to go to bed. When you wake up the next morning, if the if the twists are dry, of course, unravel the twists, and then by the afternoon or the evening of that following day, feel each side of your hair. Which side feels better? This little test will let you know which method of LCO or LCG your hair prefers. Most cases, it'll be the G side, but hey, it could be the O side too. Once you find out which side feels better, looks better, it's more softer, keep up with that routine. And in some cases, the sweet spot for moisturizing our hair is every two days. So if you are experiencing some level of breakage, do this method, whatever one wins the test, and then every two days, stick, keep doing that. You're gonna see a huge difference with less breakage, better moisture retention, and more length retention. Another thing I wanna mention that I feel like is not talked about too often in the hair porosity category is protein treatments. If you have high porosity hair, you wanna do a protein treatment at least once a month or four to six weeks, like in that gap. Why? Because protein behaves as like a glue if that makes sense. So it helps to fill in those holes and those gaps I was talking about earlier in this video. And what happens when you have those gaps filled in and those holes filled in, your hair can retain better moisture. It's stronger, more integrity in a structural-like sense, leading to less breakage and more length retention. So do not skip out on doing those protein treatments. They literally act as the glue to fill in those gaps and holes for high porosity hair. Now when it comes to scalp health strategies for high porosity hair, in most cases, those who do have high porosity hair tend to have a dry scalp. An itchy scalp, a flaky scalp, a dry scalp, okay? So definitely moisturize your scalp more, and I'm not referring to doing the LCO or the LCG method on your scalp. You don't wanna do that. I, I'm not a big fan of creams on the scalp because sometimes they can lead to product buildup and clogging the pores. So 
Instead, you want to use a moisturizing serum. These are the ones that I recommend up here. You can find them in my Amazon store, but moisturizing scalp serums are amazing because you can do them or apply them to your scalp in between your wash days. So they're great for improving a dry scalp. You can also do a pre-poo treatment of aloe vera juice or aloe vera gel directly on your scalp. Put a shower cap on, let that sit for like 30 minutes. That's gonna be so moisturizing for your scalp. You can also use nourishing oils like grapeseed or sweet almond oil directly on the scalp, like massaging those oils into your scalp to help reduce moisture loss. So long story short, when it comes to high process, hair try not to forget about your scalp once again don't be afraid of water-based butters and creams and locking in that moisture with a heavier oil or even hair grease okay don't forget to moisturize your scalp to help reduce a dry scalp and protein treatments to help to fill in the gaps and the holes of high porosity cuticles okay you got this I believe in you. Any product recommendations you guys know, check out the link below in the description box for my Amazon store. All right, curl friends, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, be sure to like this video and then stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content. Hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for the next video. Of course, I do have a question for you. When it comes to your high porosity hair, comment below what is currently working for you i asked this question in my previous video for low porosity but i want to ask you as well for high porosity so when it comes to like your regimen or maybe it's a product maybe it's a technique maybe it's something that you're doing on a weekly or daily or monthly basis what is that one thing that is currently working for you for your hair for your scalp what's working okay comment below let us all know and i cannot wait to see your responses and for more curly chemistry resources and ebooks and to sign up for one-on-one -on -one hair care coaching all the things that we have here at curly chemistry check out the link below to my website to get your hands also on the hydrating herbal hair tea rinse to help reduce shedding and support hair growth it is so good if you're interested in this on your own hair care line and want to bring your ideas to fruition definitely connect with me one-on-one -on -one as well i'll have more info about that as well in the link below all right guys i love and i'll talk to you guys soon bye